Hey guys, it's Victoria and welcome back to Femhead. Today I want to give you my cycle update because it's been it's been a roller coaster these past couple months and I've kind of kept you up to date thus far and I wanted to give you the good news that things are improving drastically and I think it's awesome. Real quick before we get into what's currently going on, I wanted to give you a bit of the backstory for those of you that haven't watched any of my other updates, you have no idea what's going on. I just kind of want to give fill in the background real quick before we go into it because if not you're going to be left wondering like this is great, I don't know what like what to compare this to. So when I quit the hormonal birth control pill, my cycle actually came back straight away if I remember correctly within a month or two I had a period and I didn't start charting right away when I quit it was only a few months after that I started charting and I was having normal cycles right off the bat I had anywhere from 26 to 28 day cycles and I would have a day or two of very light spotting to start and end my cycle but then earlier this year after traveling all over God's creation and like throwing my body through so many different time zones I don't know if that was what kind of threw my my cycle my body off kilter but I started noticing some issues with my cycle and with like, just like my overall well-being so I started spotting gradually started growing like a little bit more and a little bit more it got to the point where I think it was two cycles ago out of my 28 day cycle I had 11 days of spotting and it was mostly focused around my in my luteal phase a normal luteal phase is supposed to be 11 to 14 days my luteal phase was technically 14 days but it was really only five days that I didn't have spotting this may not make much sense at all if you don't know anything about the luteal phase your luteal phase is important if you're trying to conceive, if you don't have enough progesterone to, to support your endometrial lining, that's when you get that spotting. I knew, okay, I know I don't want to get pregnant right now, but I know I want to get pregnant in the future, and I don't want to completely just mess up my body to where it can't be repaired just because I don't want to deal with it right now or look at it as like, oh, I don't need to worry about it because I'm not trying to get pregnant. This is great because I can't get pregnant. So it got to the point to where I had a nine-day luteal phase, and then I had that cycle with all the spotting, and on top that I was just I constantly exhausted and then I was getting a little I was like a little bit down in the dumps and blue and it finally got to the point where I'm like okay after all that spotting I was like I need to do something about this thankfully I had been looking into it over the past like six months to the year obviously this is something I'm interested in I knew this was potentially an issue and so I deduced for myself that I had something to do with like my luteal phase obviously and I narrowed that down to progesterone like I had a hormonal imbalance that I need to figure out and then I added in a zinc supplement and I started using magnesium oil and I didn't really notice any sort of difference with that the next thing I wanted to try was this supplement called Vitex it is a natural supplement that is used for people that have a hormonal imbalance and People have been using it for a long, long time. Another name for it is called Chasteberry, Chasteberry. And it's kind of touted as a resuscitation to your menstrual cycle. I was taking zinc and magnesium when I had the 90 luteal phase and all that spotting. And I was like, okay, I'm just gonna do it. I'm gonna try it and see what happens. And you're only supposed to take it for a few months. And I thought it would take a few months to start working, but it worked immediately. It worked within the first cycle I used it in. I started taking it last cycle and I started taking it on the first day of my follicular phase. Took a break during my menstrual phase and then picked it back up on my follicular phase this cycle and I'm nearing the end of my cycle now. So I'm curious to see how this next period is because my previous period was so good. I had a single day of spotting to start my period. It was technically the last day of my luteal phase and then the next day I started and I started with an actual period. This might be a little TMI but the past two cycles my menstrual blood started getting very brown and I knew that wasn't a good sign and then this cycle it was all red and it was like a good color red I wasn't exhausted and I was feeling much more just like positive and optimistic so I had a five-day period and then I ended with a day of spotting the past few cycles it trickled off and just taken forever to go away but it was a really sound good period and I was really happy about it so I'm very excited to see how this next period goes all in all I'm thrilled with how it went I guess the moral of the story is and what I'm trying to say is don't settle for 
a mediocre cycle or a period or let alone like a horrible one like if you're having issues and you're like I know these are hormonal issues I know these are related to my cycle don't just deal with it go out there the information is out there and it sucks because to a certain degree you're gonna have to be your own health advocate and that's fine do your research and then you can present that information to your doctor if that makes you feel more comfortable and say like this is why things going on can you test me for X Y and Z and there's so many great resources out there depending on which avenue you want to take I will um, list down below some books I just wanted to share my story to hopefully nudge you to if you are having issues because there's so many of us out there that don't have a perfect cycle there's no such thing as a perfect cycle I don't know where I would be today if I had just dealt with health issues that had popped up over the years. I used to have chronic UTIs. I had really bad digestion and like stomach issues and stomach pain, like constant stomach aches, mild depression, spotting and exhaustion, things like that. A lot of it kind of creeps up on us, doesn't it? And you don't notice it until there's this certain point where I'm like, wait a second, Victoria, like this is not normal. This isn't you. Let's do something about this. Okay, I will stop rambling. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was helpful and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.